We are at lunch, okay. and we went to Chris's. Is it Chris's? Chris's, Chris's Pizza. Chris's Pizza in uh, up up in Stevens' neck of the woods. I don't know why I did this, <laughs> but uh, up in Stevens' neck of the woods. I am not usually up here, but I decided I'd come and bug him for uh, lunch. Mm -hmm. And instead of him fixing me pizza like he did last time, I came up and figured I'd uh, take him out and make him buy some. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I was fine making pizza. We made you pizza. But we instead had cheeseburgers. They're gone now, I ate them. Oh, I ate one. I ate mine. They didn't eat his. Why would I do that? That would be rude. No. I'm eating fried food. Coincidentally, I did take a bite out of Steven's Pizza once when we were children in high school. Just once. What? Because he threatened me within an inch of my life. You don't remember this? I don't oh, remember so anything from high school. Oh, it was hilarious. Wow. Yeah, uh, I reached over, grabbed pizza off your plate, took a bite, put it back down, and I've never seen you more pissed. I mean, to be fair, you ate my food. Uh, I will agree. I'm not saying that it was a good move on my part. I'm just saying that... I, mean, I think I would be mad at anyone who ate my food. Trust me, Mal does that all the time, and I've had to learn to like, oh, adjust. Totally the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like... I was so used to high school, like people messing with my food, that I'm so defensive over it and I eat it so quickly that so no one has the chance to mess with it. Well, in, in Mal's case, Mal wants to try everything, every single thing I ever order. <laughs> Even if she knows she doesn't like it, she'll be like, oh, what are you ordering? She'll be like, well, I'm ordering the super spicy burger that kills you and melts your face off. She's like, oh, I hate that. As soon as it gets to the table, before I get a bite, can I try it? Mal, you don't like this. Can I try it? She tries it, she's like, oh, yep, that's still bad. Of course it's still bad. It hasn't changed since the last time I ordered it. Either way, we're uh, out having fun and enjoying each other's company. And we also ran into someone that neither of us have seen in a very long time. Yeah, that was cool. Which is Bradley, a guy that we uh, went to school with. Yep. It was cool seeing him. He works just down the road. But actually, the last time I saw him was like 2008. So, four and a half years, probably. And he just happened to be sitting at the table across from us, and we both noticed, like, hey, look, there's Bradley. And then he looked over and said, hey, look, there's Jared and Steven. It was cool talking to him. And uh, we're friends on Facebook, so it's not like I ever felt like I had not seen him in a while. So I was like, hey, how's it going? I know all things, all, everything about you. I know what's been going on lately. <laughs> He's like, cool, same. I'm like, all right, great. So this was not necessary. <laughs> it was really strange because, like, you're right. We do know him through Facebook because we, we keep up in, in social media. Well, but face, uh, Facebook's changed everything. Yes. But the funny thing is, is that we still end up asking these, like, very tedious questions of, like... So what you doing now? <laughs> even though we know. Like... <laughs> He has his shirt on, like where he works. He's like, so where are you working? <laughs> when he's, I just have this other shirt on for fun. Yeah. Well, he doesn't work at Wendy's, by the way. He's a he's a, a mechanic. Yeah. At a dealership here in town, and he's really good at what he does. Yeah. So I just I didn't want you to think he was like well, like we were talking junk about him or something. <laughs> I don't think Bradley watches the videos, seeing as how he asked me legit what I did for a living. I was like, I make YouTube videos. Really? He's like, you just you just make YouTube videos? <laughs> I was, he was like, about what? I was like, well, I play video games and also my life. And he's like, people watch that? <laughs> and you make money off of that? Like, like that's crap. <laughs> He wasn't, I mean, he didn't make that disgusted sound in his voice, but he was, he was, he was genuinely surprised that you made money from YouTube. I like what I do. It's, I don't know, it's what I did in high school, you know. I made videos in high school, so I would like, I, in high school I would have liked to have done what I'm doing now. Heck now yeah. I'm, and now I'm doing it. So, I don't know. Follow your heart. <laughs> you almost... Done deal. It's a done deal. Going out to lunch with Jarrett today was a ton of fun, but it was also really interesting to see Bradley, and I did mention it in the clip that you just saw, but I've been keeping up with Bradley and a ton of other people on Facebook, even though I haven't seen them. 
And in Bradley's case, it may have been several years since I've seen him, and it's just so weird because I still know what he's up to. Facebook has really changed everything. To open this vlog up for discussion and make it more than just me and Jarrett eating uh, burgers and fries at a local restaurant, why don't you talk about instances where Facebook has been used to keep you connected to people even though you haven't seen them for what, in my case, could be years. Maybe you moved away, maybe you used to be co-workers, maybe you are next-door neighbors, you just don't have a whole lot of time for each other anymore. Stuff happens. I got busy, and I know a lot of other people have been busy too. Anyway, talk about that in the comments, and do not fear, we will talk about the new Pokemon generation tomorrow. I know that there's going to be a lot of people that are anxious about it. Seriously, tomorrow. We will discuss it tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, and let's be back tomorrow, shall we?